I heard Tash shouting. She's probably shouting for her minions to assemble. Come on, Liv. She's a monster. She's not a monster. She's just a bit extra. I know. It's, it's just... I know. I don't know what I'd do without you, Andy. We never have to find out, so don't stress it. You and me, together to the end. Together to the end. Oh, fuck off, Grandma. Go find her. Spend time with her. Okay. Alcohol. Mr. Harmless. Andy. reading the energy right here. So Father Duffy, this is Andy. And you should know that he does never cry at Strictly, even during the most sentimental dances where they dedicate a dance to a dead grandparent. And he has zero stalkers. So now's the time for booze, right? Because this is totally awkward. <laughs> About two months ago, I was chatting to a guy for about half an hour and you came and wouldn't talk about me crying at Strictly. Or, on Tasha's birthday night out in Hanley, that dancing friend of hers... Dominic. Right, Dominic. And he was lovely. And he pretty sure I was reading the energy right. He seemed interested. And you came up and wouldn't stop going on about my crazy stalker. He hadn't even Facebooked me for about two months, but you made him sound like a right psycho. He is a psycho! The point is, if I do meet someone, please don't try and ruin it for me just to entertain yourself. No, please. You are leaving. Right now. You need to leave before midnight. Please, just listen to me! See ya! Please, you've got to get out of here! Fuck off, weirdo. She always used to be the one who had to look after me, you know? I remember when these boys in the year above me at school were giving me a bit of abuse, shoving me around and calling me names, you know. Livia saw them, came storming over like she was about to murder them. Yeah? Oh yeah, all red in the face, shouting, Get away from my little brother, you twat! <laughs> Guess it's my turn. You're a good brother, Andy. Is that a compliment? Yeah, but don't tell anyone, because you'll ruin my image. in here with me. <laughs> Just don't wet the bed. No promises. So, I'm uh, more of a lover than a fighter. Yes, you have that look about you. Oh, Bethany was right. Bethany was reading the energy right. Guys! No! Of course it does. She's one person, and it's killing six people at a time, including, by the way, our friends. They have no one to take care of the things they've left behind. Oh, certainly. Welcome to Squirrel Barn, Mr. and Mrs. Harkness. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs.? Christ, no. My name is David. I am your host. My wife and I are delighted to meet you. Shut up, you knob. Well, whatever Penny says, don't ruin this weekend with a romantic mopiness. Seriously. I love Tasha. She deserves a banging weekend. Tasha's a lunatic. Sorry. She's just... extra. Really? All right, fine. Now I'm on board. Whatever. Banging weekend. How? How do we kill it? I'm not sure. Then what are you even doing here? Alright, I'm trying. Try harder. Help me! 